Hey guys, what's up? It's Barker again. I'm back here with another Let's Play review. Today uh, we're going to be playing Age of Rifles. It's a game, one of Sid Meier's first games brought out back, I think, in uh, 1994. It's been one of my favorites for a long time. Uh, we're going to play one battle out of a campaign. If you really like that battle, then uh, let me know and we'll play some more. You know, just like, subscribe, subscribe, or comment. Um, besides that, I'm going to be eating some Cheez-Its. Hope you don't mind, but I'm pretty hungry today. Without further ado, let's play it. So, picked a short battle, a quick one, just to give you a taste of the game. It's called the uh, Seven Weeks War. It's a war between Austria and Prussia. Uh, a while back, so this game, you have to, you know, it's, it's meant for DOS back in the day so you gotta install DOSBox and then you gotta learn the commands and then you gotta install it and then there's some modders on the internet and I put one mod on it changed everything to French I don't know how to undo it but it did give me a lot more content so I'm kind of okay with it but all I know is that this battle happened in 1866 can't read the rest of it so you can set up the game first you got some options here um, you got Austria and Prussia. You can do player versus player. Uh, only if you have a part down the middle of your hair, though. And uh, over here, you can play by email. So real PvP going on right there. Back in '94. But uh, I don't know anyone else who still plays this game. So we'll be playing a computer. No matter what you do, whether you put it here or here, as difficulty-wise, the AI is exactly the same. It's just all about how many shots it takes. You know, if it's up here, their unit is pretty much, you can't kill it. If it's down here, it runs away at merely the sight of you. So I'll just put it where it's supposed to be at normal. Let's get the show on the road, little starting gun. So this is a game. It's uh, about what you'd expect from a game put out in 94. I still really enjoy it, though. So what we have is you can't zoom in and out which is really my biggest complaint about the game so up here you have my base right there and down here you have the Austrian space and in between them you have this long road and these flags now these flags those are your objectives you gotta take those to win the battle you win the battle you move on to the next one in the campaign if you don't you don't or sometimes you do but not usually um, I'm a bit worried about this battle uh, these guys, I know they're in there. I can't see them right now, but defense is really strong in this game, so it's going to be hard to push them out of these houses and these towns. However, I think I have a little bit of time before their main forces get up here, so hopefully I can knock them out before the reinforcements get here. These are my troops coming down this road. These guys in green jackets, these are my light infantry. The one big advantage we have is that we are using a bolt action rifle whereas they're using a muzzle loading rifle which you know actually happened and uh, hopefully that's a big advantage to us so first thing I'll deploy my troops in a line and we'll just kind of move up towards the first house in the town and see what it's like alright so first contact this down here is my energy bar my movement points essentially you can tell it's a really tiny unit. There's only got two guys in it, or two representative guys, and I've got a much bigger one. But their initial shots knocked out 5% of my unit, so I've already lost about 29 men. Seven have been captured. I don't know how they got captured. They must have run straight into the town. But uh, hopefully I can just outshoot these guys and make them run away. Like that. that was really lucky. That typically doesn't happen. Um, so I'm going to make sure they run away first by sending... I can still, yeah, I can still get those guys to the town, but I don't want them left behind. Okay, so that's not good at all. These guys are still in column. I thought I'd be able to change their formation, but these guys shot at me first. That means that, uh, if anyone else manages to get up to this bridge, these guys are pretty much going to get destroyed, but such is war, I guess. Bring up the rest of the brigade. Anyway, 
we got into the town, so I guess that's okay. Got a uh, the single dead body representing all the Austrian dead. So that turn cost us 44 troops out of our 4,000-ish, it says now. I thought it said 7,000 earlier, but we'll find out. Okay. I'm bringing up their reinforcements, like we thought. The AI is just real bad in this game. I mean, it's what you'd expect from 1994. Like, the, the troops, they just kind of throw themselves at you. And the only time the AI really does pretty well is when they're in a really strong defensive position and they don't have to move or they uh, just have so many guys that they can't afford to throw themselves at you. So I'm just going to set up a good old defensive position here. Just start waiting for them to try to cross the bridge and retake it. I mean, there really is no point in them trying to recross the bridge. They've got two out of the three flags, but uh, I can guarantee you, I've been playing this game for a long time now, they're going to do that and get themselves knocked out. So, lots of casualties on that bridge. It's okay. It's okay. So I got some reinforcements up here, so I think what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to have these guys hold here, try to bring these guys down to this crossing, and either going to cross over myself or prevent them from crossing over. I'm going to take this brigade and go up to the second river crossing up here and try to flank them. Let's see if it works. So the green shows movement points. If you go to the yellow like that, that's when people get real tired. Red is way outside their movement range. You obviously don't want your troops getting tired. They'll stop going like that. They'll stop moving. And uh, they won't go anywhere. On to the next one. Like I said, they're just going to keep charging us and there's really no reason to do so. So yeah, if anyone of y'all wants to download DOSBox, buy this game off eBay, learn how to install games via DOSBox, learn the DOSBox commands, and uh, play by email with me, I'll be down. Or you can just, you know, sit next to me and play. You can do PvP that way too. Alright, so gonna start shooting across this river. They really are just getting chewed up. Start moving these guys out this way. Put a lot of time and effort into the graphics of this game. You can tell when your guys walk over a field, sometimes they knock down the crops and they just fall over. It's real attention to detail that uh, game critics like myself really appreciate. <laughs> Finally got some artillery. And that's really all I can do this turn. One of the things I should mention is uh, you can actually have two troops in the same spot. So like here, I've got these guys in the green jackets and the blue jackets in the same spot. Just can stack troops and switch between them. Um, it's pretty handy for defending places like this. I mean, he he's not going to knock me out of that position. I've got too many guys there, unless he brought up some sort of artillery. Still going to move these guys over here. I think by the time these guys get across the river, we'll have already knocked out what's left of the resistance down there. Just a little bit more shooting. Mm, I don't 
typically shoot people who are running away. But this is war. War as hell. Alright, on to the next one. Well, we pretty much knocked him out. I still don't want to cross that river just yet. We have so many turns left. These guys are a pretty strong unit. I know if I cross, they'll auto fire at me, and that that may cost me a few guys. So I'm going to try to get this artillery down there, knock him out. In all likelihood, he'll just charge me next turn. Won't need to. So, cross the river. Uh, this is a hex game, technically, built off those old board games. Uh, I don't like to play with the hexes, though. Sid has always been a hex guy, I guess. Even Civ Five, you can play with them hexes. No luxury resources, though, in this game. I got thought he charged me and lost all of his men. We've still taken only 72 casualties, and 14 of our guys, out of our 8,000 guys, have been uh, captured. We're doing real well. This is pretty much a bloodbath for their side. Guess it's time to take the town. No resistance. Put these guys in the column. They'll march a lot better. They don't have a lot of energy left, neither does he. Well, these guys got here too late, so I'll just set them up over here and get them to dig in. You can have your guys in trench. Uh, helps. They Sometimes they fail to entrench, like these guys failed. These guys managed to use a shovel. Um, those guys failed. It's just not that hard. These guys are somewhat vulnerable, but I don't think they have anything left to come. I mean, typically you don't want your guys dispersed like that, but... Okay, they just gave them two turns. Sometimes the game will do that to throw a little bit of randomness in. It'll uh, throw out like one or two turns, so... Now all these guys have successfully dug in, so set them up like that. Get a little bit of reinforcement here. Set this guy up over here. Whatever. I think no one's no one's gonna be coming anymore. I didn't get to use the artillery at all. Probably the final turn here, I think. Maybe one more. I guess I'll just start shooting. So, yeah. Full day of battle. We managed to take the town. Lots of Austrian casualties up there. Again, we're coming out with less than 100 troops out of 8,000 lost. We're doing real well. Lots of Austrian casualties here. Finally got to use that artillery. Uh, pretty good in this game. But I think that's the end of the battle. Yep. So, uh, give this game 5 out of 5 for nostalgia. 5 out of 5 for Cheez-Its. Uh, give it 4 out of 5 for gameplay. It's got everything I want. History, strategy, a little bit of warfare, but uh, it doesn't quite equal five out of five because <clears throat> its AI is just so awful. But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, you want to see the rest of the campaign? A lot of the other battles are a lot bigger. Let me know. And uh, if anyone can read French, let me know. <laughs>